uh, one of the most uh, effective and um, really cruel techniques uh, when it comes to narcissist control behaviors and um, mental violence and such is this silent treatment and um, I did actually mention this one at least superficially and um, this one is really <laughs> great it's um, it's beyond the most things that you would ever imagine. Actually, um, I don't know how common this is. Uh, how many people actually have um, their own experiences of being targeted with this? Me, I actually have some um, <laughs> from a different person over the years. Uh, this has become a very frequently used expression, this ghosting. Uh, when um, suddenly uh, just not replying to in uh, uh, terms of contact I think uh, it's um, associated with those uh, dating sites and applications and stuff uh, when, when people meet and have some contact and suddenly for no apparent reason one of the parts will um, um, just cut this connection completely and uh, this is um, one example of silent treatment <sighs> It's uh, definitely a, um, a method of social torture and uh, it's um, used as a specific technique uh, in situations of domestic violence and uh, yeah, in general, uh, mobbing situations and um, that kind of stuff. But um, in this case, um, in um, destructive relations, this is really. Um, so much more effective than you would ever imagine I believe because um, more than anything this leaves you completely helpless um, defenseless uh, without an uh, actual um, ways of, of action because there is nothing uh, the other part just keeps completely silent uh, more or less uh, in, in a typical um, couple 
the situation might not actually be about being completely silent, but just uh, not responsive. Uh, you get no actual contact, some short answers, not any kind of discussion about anything. And uh, may just actually go on. Usually not because there are usually some very specific reason for this. And in my own case, my, my own experience of this, it's usually three days something. And for these three days, not getting any kind of actual information about anything. And um, if it's not within uh, if it, such typical um, couple situation, people living together and uh, it may actually go on for yeah there is no actual limit as long as she actually wants you to be kept outside and uh, being, uh, yeah, nervous and uh, on your guard. And uh, sometimes the, it's meant to actually uh, arouse some, some, some specified reaction within you and um, at some time naturally she will know perfectly well how to arouse one specific uh, reaction or emotion depending on in this given situation what exactly is this that she intends to prove to others or uh, at least throw back on you and um, when just consistently uh, keeping this going or non-going exactly how would you react to this yeah but uh, don't let let that uh, kind of things um, spoil your life just ignore things how exactly do you ignore ignorance uh, because that indeed is the very purpose forcing you to ignore letting go of things and uh, damned if you do and damned if you don't because um, if actually ignoring you will also confirm the whole thing and uh, <sighs> some way uh, give it your blessing um, the yeah I realize I probably did the service 
uh, anyway, I, I don't think that anyone in the long run, <laughs> because this can only be done given that you are upon some kind of hook. That uh, she does have something that's um, of value and not revealing anything. Uh, if this would not be the fact, if really there was no um, N n nothing um, connecting it. This would be completely meaningless because uh, th then th this likely is what you on your side would wish more than anything. So this is only done when when you're worried about something, when you're expecting something that, when you need some actual answers, then this can be done. And I don't think that there's any fairly normal human being that would uh, not in any way react to this. Some say that, yeah, because we're social creatures and uh, we can't stand being isolated. We, we need uh, interaction with other humans and such, which it's actually not the case. Um, in my situation, because I do not, I can go on for years not speaking to any human, uh, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't tried that long, but so far being uh, just uh, on my own lack of company this actually does not bother me, no matter how uh, extroverted I might be in some senses. Um, but when there is something a bit more specified, a bit more concrete than just the social piece things uh, and also this active ignoring that you know no matter how no matter what things are about uh, you will not get any kind of uh, answer or response whatsoever and uh, This will, for natural reasons, always end in some kind of panic reaction. <clears throat> Might not even be emotional. I think it's uh, rather like some cognitive uh, fuck down. Um, Like, uh, yeah, some short circuits or um, overload, uh, light bow, or uh, so something that, um, yeah, these double signals uh, makes. different information going parallel or 
similar information uh, crashing into each other and uh, this uh, will create some kind of cognitive loops or whatever uh, and no matter how strong or um, independent you might be a strictly social level this is not about relations or emotions it's about uh, not having control over your own life and in this situation I don't think that there is much you can actually do to remain um, calm as this is what they sometimes say that the one uh, having no emotional engagement in a specific situation will be the one most likely keeping herself sane yeah suck on this lord in hell <laughs>